Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're trying to find an output where the output voltage is equal to five times the difference between V2 and V1. In that case, since the coefficient in front of V2 and V1 is the same number, we can go ahead and use the reduced equation for the difference amplifier. We don't have to go to this equation right here, which of course means that the requirement is that the ratio of R1 to the feedback resistor must equal to the ratio of R3 divided by R4. We have to keep that in mind. But since we need the output voltage to be a minus or no positive 5 times V2 minus V1, that requires the ratio of RF to R1 to be equal to 5. That way we have the output voltage equal to 5 times V2 minus V1. That means RF to R1 must be 5, that means RF must be 5 times R1, so let's go ahead and plug in values that are acceptable. If we make this into a 50 kilo ohm resistor, and then we make this into a resistor 110 to size, which is 10 kilo ohms. Now, how does that determine the size for resistors 3 and resistors 4? Notice that the condition is a requirement that this ratio must be equal to one another. In other words, R1 divided by RF must equal R3 divided by R4. And this must be equal 1 divided by 5. Notice that it's the inverse of RF over R1, so therefore this is 1 divided by 5. That means that R3 must be one-fifth the size of R4. Which means, if we then reverse it, we can say that R4 divided by R3 must equal 5 to 1. Sometimes it's easier to see it like that. Let's make R3 then equal to 10 kilo ohms, which means that R4 must be 5 times the amount, or 50 kilo ohms. And you can then see that the ratio of R4 to R3 is equal to the ratio of RF to R1, simply by inversing those two fractions. And that will then give us the output of 5 times the difference between V2 and V1. That's how it's done.